Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to model the machine wise in SolidWorks. The machine wise has four parts, the body, the thumb screw, movable jaw and the pegs. First I'm going to draw the parts separately, finally we are going to assemble it. Open SolidWorks, create a new part. I'm selecting the front plane. First I am going to draw the head section. Go to smart dimension and mark all the dimensions. The overall height is given as 32 mm. The height of the bottom section is given as 6 mm. The height of the web is given as 9 mm. The thickness of this section is given as 12 mm. Then the mid distance is given as 50 mm. So you can drag this to the right side. Now again go to smart dimension and mark the remaining dimensions. So it is 12 mm. Now click control, select the two lines and make it as collinear. So these two lines are already under collinear condition. If it is not under collinear condition, you can follow the same procedure to make it collinear. Again, select the two lines and make it as collinear. Now the drawing is fully constrained. Go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to 25 mm. Now I'm going to create the chamfer. Go to chamfer. The thickness of the chamfer is given as 3 mm. So select the edges you want to create the chamfer. Sorry, I have selected the face. Select the top edge. Click OK. Now again go to chamfer. Now I am going to change the dimensions of the chamfer. So the diameter of the distance of the chamfer is 6 mm. And in the bottom side, the angle is given as 30 mm. So I am selecting the two edges so it is in the opposite direction so click flip direction similarly select this edge and choose flip direction okay. now click ok now you have created the chamfer next select the surface click sketch draw a circle of diameter 8 mm so the circle is located at a height of 8 mm from the top surface and it is at the center so the distance is 12.5 mm so go to features click extrude at cut and create a cut next i'm going to create the thread go to hole wizard click thread Select the starting edge of the thread and the end condition select the end surface. Now click extrude thread, trim with the start surface and trim with the end surface. So the thread size I am selecting it as M8 into 1.25. Next to change the appearance, right click on edit appearance. and select the color you want to apply then click ok now save this as part number one again create a new part again select the front plane click sketch and draw the profile of the thread so I'm starting from the left side now 
Now go to three point circle and draw a circle. Now draw a line at the center line and also draw a vertical line for construction. Okay. Now go to smart dimension and mark all the dimensions. The height of this section that is radius is given as 3 mm and the maximum diameter is 4 mm because the thread diameter is 8. And the height of this region is given as 6 mm. The distance between these two edges are given as 62 mm. So you can click escape, you can click and drag the point to the right side. Now click control, select the arc and the vertical line and make it as tangent. So select the vertical line, make it as construction line. Go to smart dimensions and mark the remaining distance as 12 mm. Now click this line and delete it. And select a three point arc and draw a arc. The arc radius is given as 2.5 mm. The arc distance is given as 3 mm. And the distance of the initial section is also given as 3 mm. Now I have completed the model. Go to features, click revolve boss. Select the center line, click OK. Next, select any one of the opposite plane, click sketch, draw a circle, go to smart dimension. The diameter of the circle is given as 5 mm and it is located at a distance of 6 mm from the edge. Now click control, select the center of the circle and the origin and make it as horizontal. Now it is fully constrained. Go to features, click extruded bars and choose mid plane. So the length of the extrude is given as 38 mm. Go to hold wizard. Select thread. So choose the starting edge of the thread and the end condition is up to the top face. Now click cut thread. Choose trim with the start face and trim with the end face. Right click on the material and apply the material as cast iron. Now save this as part number 2. Again click new, create a new part. Select the right plane, click sketch, draw a rectangle of 25 times 15. Go to features, click extruded boss and extrude this to 15 mm. Next, select the right surface, click sketch, draw a circle. The diameter of the circle is given as 8 mm and the circle is located at the center. So 12.5 in the vertical side, 
and 7.5 in the horizontal side. Go to features, click extruded cut and remove the material for 9 mm. Now select the surface, click sketch and draw a triangle. Go to smart dimension and mark the dimensions. The width of the triangle is 3 mm. It is located at a height of 7.5 mm, that is the center. The angle between the two sides of the triangle is 90 degree. Now click control, select the right side edge and the center point so you can move it to find the center point and make it as horizontal. Now go to features, click extruded cut and choose through all. Similarly select the top surface, click sketch. Now again for repeat the same procedure, draw a rectangle. Go to smart dimension, width of the rectangle is 3 mm. Then the rectangle edge is at a distance of 12.5. The angle between these two is 90 degree. Then click control, select the right point and the center of the line. Sorry, click control, select the right point and the center and make this as horizontal. Go to features, click extruded cut, choose through all. Okay, now select the top surface, click sketch, draw two circles. And draw a center line. Select the center line and make it as construction line. Go to smart dimension, mark the dimensions. The whole diameter is given as 3 mm. The holes are at a distance of 11 mm. Now the distance between the hole and the slot center is 4 mm. Then the distance between the two holes is given as 8 mm. Now it is fully constrained. Go to features, click extruded cut, choose through all. Okay, to apply the appearance, go to edit appearance. Choose the color and click OK. Now save this as part number 3. Close this. Now click new, create a new part. Select the top plane, click sketch, draw a circle. Go to smart dimensions and mark the diameter as 3 mm. Go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to 15 mm. Right click on the material and choose cast iron. Save this as part number 4. Now I am going to assemble it. Create a new assembly. I am going to start with part number 1. Now go to insert component. Insert part number 2, go to mate, choose the circular surface and circular edge of the hole and make it as concentric. Now go to insert component, choose part number 3. Go to mate, select the cylindrical edge, and 
and the cylindrical edge in the part 2 and make this as concentric with lock rotation. Now you can move this, go to insert component, insert part number 4. So click control, drag it to multiply it. Now go to mate, select the cylindrical surfaces, so concentric with lock rotation. Similarly, the next two cylindrical surfaces, select the top edges, similarly the top edge of the next peg. Now select the cylindrical surface of the peg and the cylindrical edge of the thread and make this as tangent mate. Okay. Click OK. If you want to rotate this, then you have to go to concentric mate between these two one. You can edit this feature and remove the lock rotation. For that you have to select the two surfaces and make it as parallel. And you can go to mate, choose mechanical mate screw and the top face of the screw. and the bottom face of the thread. Now distance per revolution is 8 mm. Now you can rotate this and you can find the desired motion. Thank you.